Hey there, so I wanted to make a little video to show the uh, fixture I use for machining the F-37 case decks on the Bridgeport mill here. Um, so to fit the new cylinders onto these decks, or any F-3 series cylinder onto an F-7 case, uh, if you know your Kawasaki's, you know what I'm talking about, um, the case requires a lot of welding. You can see where this case deck has been welded up uh, to change the shape of the port passages slightly and for the wider bolt pattern um, and wider case bore that is required to accommodate the new cast nicosyl plated cylinders. So the case I have on the fixture there is a case off of my running engine that used to run the cast iron line cylinders that were breaking on me. Um, here's a case that's been welded up in preparation for the modification. So basically the stud holes have been filled. Um, the width of the case deck has been widened. So this will get faced off, drilled with the new bolt pattern. And then the port passages, they get altered slightly. They're, they're pretty much stock. I mean, we're, you're talking a few millimeters here and there. But generally, the um, most importantly, the case bore will be widened. So here's the fixture I've set up for machining these cases. You can see there's a, a steel mandrel that runs through the, the boss that supports the crankshaft main bearings in the case. Um, this mandrel uh, fits snug on the bearings and the well the boss where the bearing would go so it centers on the axis of the crankshaft um, I've set it up to be uh, parallel to the mills z-axis and uh, flat um, you can see there's the the setup um, this end mounts in a chuck on a rotary table it also, you can't see as well because of the clamping, but it um, also centers on the boss that holds the main bearing. You can see some little uh, fixture here that bolts into an existing bolt pattern on the rotary valve face, and that makes this plenty solid for the machining operations required. Um, inside, the mandrel actually uh, indexes on a face inside the case, which is a, a reference surface for centering the crankshaft. So if I machine multiple cases on this fixture, they all index where the crankshaft goes. And this way I could machine multiple cases to fit multiple spec-built cranks. And that way, you know, one crank doesn't have to be unique to one case. Um, since this is on a rotary table, it could be turned. You see the case moving. And this is what's used to um, set the plane at which the deck will be cut and the relief for the cylinder liner skirt will be bored. So, yeah, I might get some videos of the actual machining operations, but that's the setup used to machine the cases. Thanks for watching.